Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So we're shooting outside and the reason for it is because we are doing a houseplant update on my Monstera that I got from Walmart. And for those of you guys who's, who's been following me on Instagram or on YouTube, you should be familiar with this plant. I got him back in 2017, around September, and I was really excited because I found him at Walmart for $15, which is very rare for a Monstera of that size. Uh, I'll link a video of when I first got that plant so you guys can see how he looked like. But in the course of two years, I, uh, he was really growing really healthy, produced a lot of new growth, a lot of leaves, and I even actually propagated this guy as well, uh, which I also did a video of, so I'll link uh, one in the description below as well as on the card. But um, this past winter, I guess uh, the past winter in 20, 2018, I noticed that he was starting to look droopy and uh, just wasn't as healthy or vibrant as he used to be. So my first thought was maybe he wasn't getting enough light because it was during the winter months, and I also thought maybe he was a bit root down so what I ended up doing is repotting him to a bigger size and getting a, uh, a grow light to uh, obviously help him uh, get some energy uh, during the winter months but I realized that that wasn't working and that wasn't helping so after a few more research and really inspecting my plants I realized that he had a lot of thrips and thrips are pretty much um, it's slender insects, uh, some have wings that pretty much suck the life out of your plant and uh, the first signs of thrips, uh, from my experience anyway, is seeing brown spots on the back of your leaves uh, like you see here and depending on how severe it is, some can be a little bit lighter, it can start off light and then it can really spread and get really dark in terms of the browning and then another sign is obviously when uh, the leaves start to droop and pretty much it just looks limp and lifeless, right? So if you take a closer look, you'll see the these little insects crawling around very very difficult to spot uh, with a naked eye and you really got to look for it right so once I've experienced what they look like and what the damage looks like I then began to inspect my other plants and I realized that they were also on my other Monstera and also on my Thai constellation Monstera so these thrips have been bothering me for pretty much all year long um, and uh, I'm trying to do my best to kind of get rid of them so there's a few ways to get rid of them depending on how severe the damage is. Um, if it's not that severe, what you guys can do is use an insecticide soap that you can buy on Amazon. I use this one from Safers, also got from Amazon. And uh, what you can do is you can spray down all the leaves, all the stems, the soil, and, and let it soak for a good few hours, then wash it down and repeat the process pretty much every other day for the next two weeks before you introduce them back into your um, area with the rest of your house plants. So I tried doing that with this guy and uh, it wasn't working and uh, the reason why is because the thrips were really severe at that point so what I had to do is I actually had to uh, remove him from the soil and do the same thing insecticide soap you can also use something homemade uh, like uh, alcohol rubbing alcohol dish soap and warm water or you can also use neem oil, neem oil which I know has worked well for a lot of people and uh, so I took it out of the soil washed it down for every other day for the next two weeks and uh, it wasn't working again so what I ended up having to do if it's really severe which is in this case for this guy which is unfortunate is I actually had to prune him down a lot so that means going all the way to stem and cutting him off and cutting all the old leaves. Now, the one thing about Monsteras though is when you do, and you guys will notice this when you propagate them, is when you do cut them at the stem right here, is they will actually push out new growth like you guys see here. This is new growth and this is where I originally cut the older leaves that had thrips damage. And then I also removed some of the other leaves. So that's one thing you, uh, about Monstera is, is as long as you leave enough of a vine, they will pu uh, uh, push out new growth, which is, which is awesome right here here right so that's pretty much where this guy is at so what I'm gonna do to save this guy is uh, I'm actually not gonna be able to save the mother plant is I'm just gonna propagate the new growth and we're gonna cut him below the node so that way we can root this guy in water uh, but before we root this guy in water I want to wash him down again with insecticide soap and um, uh, and then put him in water so that way I just want to make sure all the thrips are gone uh, so that's how we're gonna save this guy um, obviously I don't want I don't want to give up on him because it's one of my <laughs> Uh, uh, treasures and one of the guys that really started my uh, plant love and my plant passion for the last couple of years now so that is what we're gonna do 
another way you can actually save your plant, which is what I'm doing right now here with my Thai Constellation Monstera. And the reason why I'm doing this with my Thai Constellation Monstera is because obviously these are very rare and very difficult to find and I do not want to risk losing these guys in thrips. So uh, I did the same thing. I washed this guy with insecticide soap. I removed it from soil and just left it in water uh, because that way, you know, the, the larva and, and the thrips aren't growing with the soil medium and the roots. And um, yeah, left in water for the last couple of months. And I noticed though that there was a lot more browning that was happening. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to put some ladybugs on it. And I've been having these ladybugs go to work for the last couple of days. So you guys can see here, pretty much what ladybugs will do is they will actually go and attack uh, the thrips up or, or even scales or even, um, what is that one that's, you know, the white one? What is, what's it called? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why is it, why can I not remember? Um, they're part of the, oh man. I can't believe I forgot. I just did a video on how to get rid of those common house 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 pests. They are called, you know what? I'm just gonna put it down here because I'll remember uh, once uh, I finish shooting this video. But um, so the ladybugs will kill a lot of these common house pests, and uh, that's what I did. So I got some ladybugs off like Costco. And the one thing about la live ladybugs is you can actually store them in the fridge and they'll go dormant. But once you bring them out, they're, they're gonna go alive. But the way you release these ladybugs is first of all you want to do it at nighttime, and you want to be able to make sure your your plant is wet because you know they need water or else you're gonna start flying around looking for water so that's exactly what's happening right here is I did do this in the bathroom in the bathtub so that was a little bit more contained and if I did it outside I think the spiders are gonna get the ladybugs so um, yeah so I have these ladybugs going to work right now and pretty much going to uh, hopefully get rid of all these strips uh, once I'm done with the ladybug process what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna wash it with insecticide soap and I'm gonna leave it in water again for you know in the next couple of weeks and then just monitor the guy but uh yeah so that's what's happening with my uh, thai constellation monstera that you guys see here but for now let us go and uh try to find a a vine that we want to save let's cut it and let's remove the old leaves from it and uh yeah let's try and save this monstera from walmart so this is the vine we're gonna save right here and you guys can see this was where i originally cut to remove the leaves that had damage that had thrips and what it did is it pushed this new growth out here which is huge which is amazing and so this is the entire vine it has an old leaf that I kept here so we're gonna snip this guy off uh, right about here right so that's the old leaf so now we got a nice clear vine here uh, this is also another old leaf right now so we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna snip him as well right about here so old leaf gone um, so again, this is now the new vine or the old vine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a, uh, we're gonna go closer to um, the bottom there and find a node uh, and just cut below it. And that's what we're gonna stick in water. So let's go ahead and do that. So you guys will notice this is also an old leaf right here that is connected to this long vine. So I'm gonna cut this guy right here. And now we got this bare, uh, long vines. So I think there's a node right here and there's one down here as well But I think all I want to do is just cut Probably here. So he's got about two nodes. I'm gonna do it right here You want to get like a really sharp Scissors this guy's thick. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right guys So this was the first vine that I saved and I cut and you guys can see this was the new growth uh, that uh, took place when I originally cut the older leaves uh, from this this vine right here uh, and what it does is it promotes new growth so that's one thing about propagating monsteras is it will promote new growth and you can see all these healthy aerial roots and uh, I pretty much cut here removed all the older leaves and again what you guys can do is if you do have these long aerial roots you guys can trim them uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trim the, the ones here closer to the top and then I'm gonna leave these guys here so I'm just gonna closely do that and that should be good and yeah so what we're gonna do with this guy is obviously wash him uh, with insecticide soap uh, that way just want to make sure he's pest free again he's been been hanging outside for a while right so chances are uh, he's got probably a bit of a bugs um, uh, as well but uh, he looks pretty healthy now the other one I took is I took this other vine right here and again new growth new growth old leaves so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this guy right now I'm just gonna cut him right there and um, 
I think we're also gonna cut this guy because it's closer to the bottom where we're gonna stick this guy in water and you don't want this guy to, uh, you know, root rot. So we're gonna do that. And I think I'm also gonna cut this leaf as well too. So um, let's do that right now. There we go. So again, we're gonna wash this guy and then uh, stick him in water and let it root. And then, uh, you know, hopefully in the next couple of months, he'll be ready to be planted back in soil. Uh, but yeah, so this is what uh, we're gonna do, saving my uh, Monstera from Walmart. So hopefully you enjoyed this little quick video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram. But other than that, hopefully you guys have a great weekend and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.